In a quaint small town where daily life seemed ordinary, Emma's world was far from typical. Enduring prolonged suffering at the hands of her stepmother, she harbored a silent plea for help. One day, summoning courage despite her fear, Emma approached the kind-hearted policeman she had observed over weeks. With a trembling hand, she discreetly slipped a folded note, adorned with her drawings, into his pocket. A silent plea for understanding, when Emma turned to leave, a sharp whistle halted her. Steps, the policeman, swiftly discovering the note, betrayed a mix of concern and surprise etched on his weathered face. Unfolding the paper, his expression shifted to one of profound dismay. The drawings depicted a haunting narrative, a woman inflicting harm upon a child. Amidst symbols of anguish and despair, moved by Emma's silent cry for help, the policeman approached her with empathy ready to confront the darkness concealed behind the sketches, the silent plea of the little girl echoed through the lines of the paper, speaking volumes without words. As the policeman absorbed the emotions captured in the drawings, the world around him momentarily blurred, empathy surged within him, a deep understanding of the pain someone endeavored to conceal, sensing the urgency and the cry for help emanating from the black girl's sketches, the policeman resolved to act swiftly, approaching the frightened girl. He gently requested her name and address. Armed with this crucial information, he swiftly summoned backup, recognizing that the situation held complexities beyond surface appearances. Little did he know, this decisive moment would unravel a chain of events, exposing the depths of the torment Emma had silently endured for two years. Emma's world had shattered two years prior. With the passing of her mother, the warmth and comfort that once enveloped their home dissipated leaving behind an insurmountable emptiness. In an attempt to move forward, her father remarried a woman named Karen. From the moment Karen entered their lives, a chilling aura descended upon the household, extinguishing any remnants of warmth. Karen's disdain for Emma was palpable from the outset. Her distant gaze, icy tone, and escalating disdain painted a harsh new chapter in Emma's life. With each passing day, Karen's cruelty intensified, inflicting pain and fear with every interaction. Emma found herself ensnared in a web of strict rules and relentless criticism, any misstep was met with harsh rebuke, escalating to physical punishment, a harsh reality for Emma, who had never before experienced such cruelty, desperate for reprieve, Emma longed for the day when her silent suffering would be heard, Emma attempted to confide in her father about Karen's harsh treatment, but her words fell on deaf ears. Her father seemed to believe she was merely grieving her mother's absence and fabricating stories to oust Karen. Feeling unheard, Emma resolved to stand her ground against Karen's tyranny. However, Karen's cruelty only escalated. She declared meals a privilege, subject to Emma earning them through satisfactory completion of chores. Confinement and verbal abuse became commonplace punishments, carefully avoiding physical scars. Emma sought solace in her sketchbook, where she poured her heartache onto its pages, each stroke of her pencil depicted the verbal assaults and emotional torment inflicted by Karen. When Emma's attempts to expose Karen's cruelty intensified, so did the punishments, driving her deeper into isolation, art became Emma's refuge, a silent scream against the pain within her home's walls. One evening, as darkness fell and her father remained oblivious in his study, Karen seized the opportunity to unleash her cruelty on Emma, leaving a painful mark both physically and emotionally. Emma endured Karen's cruelty in silence, knowing that making a sound would only invite more torment. Karen's attacks weren't just physical, they were a systematic assault on Emma's spirit, aimed at belittling her and undermining her self-worth. The emotional scars ran deeper than any physical pain, lingering long after the sting of Karen's slap had faded, even when Emma's father was in the house. Karen maintained a facade of normalcy, presenting herself as the loving wife and stepmother. Emma's father, preoccupied with work, remained oblivious to the hidden side of Karen's cruelty. Emma felt increasingly isolated, realizing her father was blind to her suffering. Desperate for help, she took matters into her own hands, turning to the police with her drawings and notes as evidence. These sketches vividly depicted the pain she couldn't articulate in words. Shocked by the evidence, the police took swift action calling for backup and involving child services. However, when confronted, Karen vehemently denied everything, skillfully painting Emma as a troubled liar seeking to undermine her family. Despite Karen's denial, the police remained resolute, convinced. By Emma's drawings, they installed a hidden camera in her room, hoping to capture the truth behind closed doors. For weeks, 
they monitor the footage, searching for evidence to corroborate Emma's claims, however, their efforts yielded no concrete evidence, leaving them frustrated but undeterred in their pursuit of justice when the police questioned the validity of Emma's drawings. The once powerful images seemed to lose their impact in the silent footage, the apparent calm within Emma's home. Left the authorities bewildered and uncertain, unbeknownst to them, Karen had temporarily retreated, biding her time after the police visit, the very next day, she took Emma out for a drive, her false smile masking a sinister intent, in a secluded spot far from prying eyes, Karen's anger erupted, her hand striking Emma with force, Emma recoiled in shock as Karen's venomous words poured forth, far more damaging than the physical blow, Karen mocked Emma for involving the police, condemning her for attempting to tarnish the family's reputation, Trapped in the isolation of the secluded spot, Emma had no means of escape from the ongoing mistreatment. The pain inflicted by Karen left no visible scars, but the emotional wounds cut deep, unbeknownst to the world, the darkness cunningly concealed by Karen outside the home would eventually be exposed, putting an end to Emma's silent suffering. For now, however, the hidden camera failed to capture the truth, leaving Emma to endure in silence as the cycle of abuse persisted, Karen determined to keep her actions hidden, erected walls of silence around Emma, though these walls seemed formidable, they could not contain the storm brewing within, the pain, invisible to the world, was on the brink of eruption, poised to shatter the illusion of tranquility, despite waning interest from other officers, a breakthrough loomed on the horizon, Officer Solon, initially given Emma's note, became reinvigorated by the case, spurred on by the successful, Arrest of a mistreating foster parent, worried that Emma's cries for help had been genuine, Officer Solon pursued the truth with renewed determination, for weeks, a nagging feeling had haunted Sullivan, a sense that something crucial had been overlooked, revisiting the security footage from Emma's home on the third night of surveillance, amidst the grainy pixels, a horrifying truth unfolded, the footage revealed Karen dragging Emma into the room by her ears, her tempestuous rage unabated, with a forceful shove, Karen sent Emma staggering, her body colliding with the sharp corner of the nightstand, the video froze at the moment of impact, the room heavy with shock and disbelief, the undeniable evidence tore away any lingering doubts, Karen, frozen in place, faced the weight of her actions with the eyes of a cornered animal, fear crept into her veins when she realized she had crossed the line, her judgment clouded by desperation, in a frantic bid to erase the evidence, she reached for a heavy rug, contemplating a grim fate for Emma. Yet fate had other plans, when Karen approached the unconscious girl, she discovered to her surprise that Emma was still alive, the blow had inflicted a severe head injury, leaving her motionless on the floor, seizing the opportunity, Karen's face contorted with a mix of menace and desperation as she threatened Emma, warning of dire consequences if she dared to speak up, little did Karen know, her actions had been captured on tape, providing the evidence needed to unravel her web of lies, with the help of the policeman, Emma's father was finally confronted with the stark reality of his new wife's mistreatment of his daughter, the emotional weight of Emma's heartbreaking drawings struck him with a force he couldn't ignore, regret and guilt flooded his heart when he realized the depth of his failure to protect his own flesh and blood, confronted with irrefutable proof, Emma's father faced a difficult decision, the revelation of Karen's true nature demanded justice, in a moment of clarity. He confronted Karen, stripping away the facade that had masked her cruelty for far too long, in that confrontation, he found the strength to send her away from their home for good, but justice didn't stop at mere expulsion, fueled by the urgency to protect the innocent, the police didn't allow Karen to just walk away, they arrested her immediately, ensuring that her actions would have legal consequences, the handcuffs that bound her became a symbol of the accountability she could no longer escape, finally, Emma was liberated from the chains of Karen's cruelty, the drawings, once seemingly futile, became the key that unlocked her silent torment, the police intervention, initially met with frustration and doubt, triumphed in the end, Emma's voice, stifled for too long, rang out loud and clear through the evidence captured on that hidden camera, the gratitude Emma felt was immeasurable, she knew her art had given her a voice when words had failed, the drawings, simple yet profound, became a beacon of hope that guided her out of the darkness, with caring out of their lives, Emma found herself surrounded by newfound love and support from her father, the emotional climax of the story was not just about justice being served, but about the silence voice finding resonance, the storm that had raged within the walls of her home had finally cleared, 
leaving behind the sense of justice and the promise of a brighter future for Emma, as for identifying young children like Emma who are victims of terrible step-parents, it's crucial to promote awareness and provide resources for early intervention, community support, counseling services, and educational programs can play vital roles in recognizing and addressing signs of abuse or neglect. It's also essential to create safe spaces where children feel empowered to speak up about their experiences and receive the help they need. That's all about the first story, and now let's watch another similar story in the tranquil embrace of Greenwood Mark and Sarah epitomize the ideal couple, their love woven into the fabric of their shared life, yet, the arrival of a newborn with a complexion distinct from their own shattered this idyllic harmony, Mark and Sarah's bond, forged amidst the serenity of a sprawling farm and nurtured by the warmth of their large families, was unyielding from the moment they crossed paths at a town fair, their union, consummated a year later in matrimony, led them to Greenwood, united in their dream of parenthood but divided by the vision they held for their future family, Mark, molded by the challenges of being the eldest among five siblings and scarred by his father's abandonment, advocated for a smaller family, fearing the burdens he witnessed his mother endure, Sarah, her heart still bearing the weight of childhood loss inflicted by a merciless illness that claimed her siblings, clung to the cherished memories of familial closeness, yearning to replicate that bond through a multitude of children, their conflicting perspectives on family size, a silent battleground in their marital union, posed a formidable obstacle, Mark sought to shield Sarah from the hardships he knew all too well, while Sarah, resilient in her belief that a bustling household was the key to happiness, remained steadfast in her desire for a larger brood, after deliberation, Sarah acquiesced to Mark's plea for a more modest family size, reluctantly embracing the compromise of welcoming only two children into their fold, Despite her lingering yearning for a larger family, Sarah embraced Mark's decision and committed herself to cherishing the two children they would soon welcome into their lives. Little did they anticipate the twists and revelations that awaited them on their journey to parenthood. As time passed, Sarah's womb swelled with the promise of their first child, igniting Mark's heart with boundless love and anticipation. He doted on her, ensuring her every need was met and enveloping her in affection as they eagerly awaited their little one's arrival when labor finally began mark stood by sarah's side offering unwavering support through the intensity of childbirth amidst a whirlwind of emotions their daughter entered the world her cry filling the room with jubilation and relief with blonde locks and azure eyes mirroring her mother's their newborn brought an overwhelming sense of pride and gratitude to mark's heart holding her for the first time he marveled at the precious gift they had been blessed with blissfully unaware of the shadow lurking on the horizon as two years slipped by sarah's desire for more children swelled within her once again convinced that expanding their family would only deepen the joy within their home sharing her hopes with mark she cast her gaze upon him with unwavering optimism knowing deep down how much she longed for a larger brood though hesitant at first mark couldn't deny the sparkle of hope in her eyes resolved to do Whatever it took to fulfill her dreams of a bigger family and to keep their love flourishing, the excitement that Mark felt was a reflection of Sarah's growing eagerness as her tummy grew larger with the possibility of a new life. Each and every day of her pregnancy was cherished, and Mark showed her unflinching love and compassionate care throughout the entire process. An unexpected surprise was waiting for them on the day of the delivery, and it came as a complete surprise Sarah gave birth to. A pair of identical boys, each of whom inherited her blonde hair but possessed the unmistakable brown eyes of their father, Mark, Sarah, whose heart was filled with happiness, welcomed her newfound role as the mother of two sons who were invaluable to her, Mark's heart melted when he saw the unexpected twins, despite the fact that he had previously been cautious about expanding their family beyond two children, his eyes were open to the possibility of forming more profound connections with them and experiencing the delights of parenting magnified by two, Sarah's desire for a larger family continued to be a driving force, even after the twins were born, she had a strong desire to have a household that was filled with the joyous laughter of a large number of children, but she recognized and understood Mark's unwavering choice to restrict the number of children they had, despite the fact that she was experiencing a heavy heart, she decided to put her wants aside and commit herself to the care of their three special children, Mark, who was blissfully unconscious of the disaster that was brewing on the horizon, 
believe that their family had now reached its full potential, on the other hand, their peaceful lives was abruptly thrown into disarray by an unanticipated turn of events that would forever alter the trajectory of their family's story, the years passed, and one morning, Sarah awoke with a tingling sensation that she had experienced before, which was a telltale indicator. That she was pregnant, her heart was filled with a range of feelings as she struggled to reconcile the happiness of expecting another child with the anxiety she felt about how her husband would react to the news. Sarah mustered the bravery to tell Mark the news, despite the fact that she was terrified of doing so, he gave an answer that was anything but polite, in light of the fact that Sarah is a stay-at-home mother, Mark brought to Sarah's attention his unambiguous beliefs on the expansion of their family and stated his concerns over their capacity to provide financial support for an additional kid, Sarah was deeply wounded by Mark's harsh reaction, but she remained resolute in her decision to proceed. With the pregnancy despite his objections, when Mark realized the pain his words had caused, he swiftly apologized, seeking forgiveness from his wife, Sarah, understanding his remorse, forgave him, and together they began to prepare for the arrival of their new child. As the months passed, Mark's perspective gradually evolved, and he found himself eagerly anticipating the birth of their baby. His imagination teemed with visions of bonding with a third son, reminiscent of the camaraderie he shared with his own brothers during his childhood. Excitement welled within him when he envisioned the adventures that lay ahead for their growing family. When the time for delivery arrived, neither Sarah nor Mark could have anticipated the shock that awaited them. As soon as the newborn entered the world, it was evident that something was amiss, not an illness or deformity, but a striking difference in appearance. The baby possessed dark skin, a stark contrast to the fair complexion of both Mark and Sarah. Confusion and disbelief gripped Sarah's heart when she struggled to comprehend this unexpected turn of events. Mark, too, was overcome with astonishment, unable to reconcile the sight before him with the reality of their circumstances, blinded by anger and suspicion. He hastily concluded that Sarah must have been unfaithful, believing it to be the only logical explanation for their baby's appearance. Driven by his emotions, Mark made the impulsive decision to leave his wife and newborn. Unable to confront the tumultuous situation before him, devastated by Mark's sudden departure, Sarah found herself torn between caring for her baby and grappling with the shattered remnants of their marriage. Overwhelmed by grief, she faced an uncertain future, mourning the loss of the life they had once shared. During the time that Mark was providing child support for their first three children, Sarah was forced to face the challenging challenge of parenting her children all by herself. Sarah. Over the course of time, committed herself to the process of establishing a home setting that was both nurturing and stable for her children, including her cherished son who had black complexion. Sarah passionately embraced her job as a mother with unflinching love and commitment, protecting her son from the harsh truths of life, despite the fact that she was subjected to rumors and gossip concerning her. After a number of years had passed, Mark's life came crashing down when he was informed that, he had a serious illness, his physician suggested that Mark's children undergo genetic testing because he was concerned about the nature of the condition, which could be familial. Without exception, Sarah requested that all of the children, including her son with dark complexion, be subjected to examinations. One of the most stunning discoveries that came out of the investigation was that the black child was, in fact, Mark's biological offspring, when Mark struggled to come to terms with his feelings of incredulity, uncertainty, and shame, he sought refuge in a distressing talk with his mother, during which she revealed a long-concealed secret, through her relationship with a black soldier who tragically lost his life in battle, she had conceived Mark in order to safeguard him, she wed the individual whom Mark had mistakenly identified as his father, the fact that Mark had light complexion at birth had enabled him to conceal the truth, nevertheless, the advent of his son with dark, Skin revealed the recessive traits that he had acquired from his biological father. Mark's heart was filled to the brim with a maelstrom of emotions in response to the sorrow that haunted him and the desire for redemption that spurred him. As he approached Sarah, he was overcome with emotion and begged her to forgive him even though Sarah was taken aback by the information. She could not even begin to consider the possibility of absolving him of any wrongdoing. On the other hand, Mark made a Solemn promised to himself that he would be there in the lives of all of his children, including the life of his son who had dark skin. For the sake of ensuring that his children experienced a sense of love and appreciation, 
he made a commitment to attend every school function, soccer game, and dance recital. By going through this experience, Mark realized that in order to be a good father, he needed to provide unflinching support, advice, and love that was not conditional, even when confronted. With challenges, above is today's story. If you like it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. See you next time.